lover to the arts. I've always been the lover to the arts, kissing the lips, embracing the arms of all her kinds. Once upon a time, I wanted to paint with my inner voice. I wanted my inner voice to speak through the artistry of painting, moving through the voices of Jacob Lawrence, John T. Biggers, Hale Woodruff that still resound today. More easily said, but a young life began his renaissance with crayons and blue line paper sheets, crafting dreams of sunbeam filled skies and joys of days that only rays of sun could replicate in the clarity of the voices we'd paint together. Those were the days until my voice painted out of its range and sketched me out of the portfolio of ability. Once upon a time, I wanted to dance with my inner paintbrush. I wanted my inner paintbrush to move through the rhythm to freedom of my body in ways the paintbrushes of George Snowden, Leroy Jones grooved and still brush on today. More easily said, but my dreams found themselves wrapping my body around the groove, passion of the pulses and the tenacity of the tempos. Those were the days into my paintbrush missed a step and tumbled me outside of the Linux Lounge's side doors I once could slide through. Today, I want to write with my inner cadence. I want my poetry to dance lyrics and heartfelt performances like County Cullen, Langston Huge, Zora Neale Hurston, Jazz Then and Still Dance on Today. More easily said, but my poetry finds itself floating on the vibrato of the rhythm as words lock their experiences into poetic fixations and give life to the songs, the dances, the pictures seen and touched by the renaissance of my young life. Cause there's this something special about how poetry tempts me as she moves and I've always been the lover to the arts, just a kissing and embracing. Lover to the arts.